Okay. Uh, hey guys, happy splash here. Good morning. It is 8 30, 2021. Uh, right now we're going to do some league and then we'll do some dark tower. So let's get right into it. So let's get into league. Just gotta claim these chests. Probably should have done this before we started. Running a little behind schedule right now, but uh, well, we'll see if we can make up for that. Uh, we're currently still in the world event right now, so that is why you are still seeing some sparks coming out. Okay, looks like we still have some other chests that are needing to be opened. That's fine. We have five battles here, so let's get them done. Okay, uh, take a look at their warlord. So they got silence, they got the stones with the heal and other heal. They got a pet over here that has some attack boost to their units. Start with. Start this over here. Start this Grace of Rock Fleet. Uh, deal some damage whenever it attacks. Get rid of some of these buildings. And then if we can get those seven kills, we can get the, the extra attacks for this unit. So we're currently on two. Not sure if we to keep track of those numbers yet but uh, ideally we'd like to keep her alive we do have some removal here with our frost and our yoster here as well and then we can also follow up with our shaolin as well as here so we'll do our summon we'll do our frost over here to freeze him uh, next turn we'll do our shaolin to give these units immunity from silence and then also give an attack boost want to wait on using the Yoster until another unit comes into play that can threaten us. This one is, I mean, it's pretty bad in terms of the extra attack and the plus health, but we can take care of them next turn. Alright, so we'll summon our Shaolin. So we can summon our Shaolin over here, get some damage over here. Then have our extra damage over here. Uh, next turn, we can either summon our building to give this some protection, or we'll summon our Yoster to then set up for a board wipe. Uh, the Shaolin here has a death trigger, so whenever it dies, it deals damage to one of our units. Right, in this case, our it's unfortunate that our Grace Rock Lead is now destroyed. We have this over here. We'll summon our Yoster now to silence the male unit here. Okay, so this wasn't frozen because we actually summoned it behind the Frost as opposed to in front. So that's why this isn't frozen anymore. Uh, but we did get rid of its negative effect, the one that actually gives block, and then also gives block to the Warlord. Okay, so we're dealing with that. Got that over there. Summon our building here to block for some damage. They do have this Aphrodite that deals damage based upon the health of one of their units. So we could take... We're potentially taking around like 180, 180 or 190 in damage. Or 200. <laughs> All right, uh, we'll do our destruction skill. Let's see, do we have enough for lethal? Have they done silence yet? They have not done silence, so 100, 200. It's gonna be close. Uh, summon this over here. So when we summon this Amaratsu, it gives metal shield to units around them. Give some protection. I think we're going to be a little short. Uh, yeah, so we are short there. Do their silence and they can still deal damage over here. I think we should have summoned our Yoster a little bit earlier so that we could have set up for a board wipe and then not worry about our Grace of Rock Fleet being destroyed. All the stuff, all the stones over here. Yep, and there you go. Unfortunate. Yeah, if we if we summon it in the other way where the Yoster was over here, would have silenced the unit and then also frozen it and not have to worry about the attack. Oh, you know, oh, the thing's still in the wrong spot. It's because of the uh, offer wall that's still happening around here. I'm gonna bring it down so we can. All right, much better. You know, Mondays, man, just whew, whew, right above, right over my head. All right, so we're gonna summon this Yoster first to silence this male unit. So no more reborn and no more extra damage and plus attack. Next turn, we'll either summon our Grace of Rock, Rock Fleet to destroy this or we'll summon a building to block and then hopefully set up for a board wipe in the next two turns. Lovely, all right. So we're taking some damage over here. 
for every tech. I'm gonna do our summon. And then we're gonna summon our Blair over. Well, we're gonna summon Blair over here just to actually block for some damage. So we'll take some damage as you see on the attacks. And then we'll have our Arch Vampire deal damage to their units because set the health to five and destroy those. Next turn, for sure, we're gonna be summoning our Shaolin. And then we can also set up for, we already have our board wipe set up as long as the Oster is still alive and the damage at the beginning of the turn. All right, so we'll do that. We destroy this unit. It has a death trigger, so it gives negative attack to our units. That's fine. Summon our Shaolin, give these immunity from silence, and then also give these an attack boost. Uh, also miss for the turn, just because when it attacks. All right, so we dropped the silence, so just no more skills over here. That is fine. We still have our other two units over here, uh, especially here with the plus health at the end of the turn. Okay, probably, let's see there. We'll summon our Amaratsu, give these metal shield. Okay, and some more health boost because of the females. Uh, at this point, we actually don't mind for our Yoster to be destroyed, and every other unit uh, can still take some damage as well because of the metal shield given. All right, so another silence over there, damage over there. All right, so combat will destroy that, potentially destroying this here. Summon our Justia over here. Give some attack boost to our units, also give miss. All right, so we're in pretty good shape right now. We have coverage over here in the lane with the health boost given from the Yoster. We still have our death trigger with the Shaolin, and we also have enough health over here for the uh, silenced Arch Vampire. So assuming this Yoster is still alive, we'll have the damage to destroy this. These will be marked for damage, and these can run over, over these buildings over here. All right, so those are good. Summon our Grace of Rockfleet to deal some damage, potentially destroy this over here. Uh, this Charon over here, which is now a Cenotaph, it gives Metal Shield to their units before they attack. Or before we attack, rather. Nice. The Pierce from the Lair has been building up, so that's why we're able to destroy the Cenotaph here behind this building. So currently we are threatening lethal two. Just gotta get rid of these stones to avoid the heal. Next turn we'll summon our Blair to destroy this, or we'll summon our frost. We'll do our summons now. They're getting mental shield because of the Blair, and we'll also summon our Shaolin over here. Okay, and there we go. That was a much, much, much better battle. <laughs> All right, four more. Yeah, I faced Penman four. They've gotten well. Okay, still, still about a thousand. I, I thought, um, I think it was Jama Ryan that has around eleven hundred health. So let's start with. We're gonna start with our building actually. Uh, reason why is because we want to get rid of these buildings early so that we can have some attackers over here. And then also we don't have our Shaolin in our squad quite yet. These units are still a little vulnerable and I also rather use these as counter attacks rather than uh, first units to come out. All right, so we're gonna summon our, we're gonna hold off on the, on the Yoster over here. We're just gonna summon our Grace of Rock Fleet. Actually no, we'll summon our Frost instead. That makes a little more sense. I don't mind losing this unit because of the health and the low attack. And uh, like I said, we'd rather use these as, as uh, counterattacks rather than uh, having them be the first units up. So that's fine. Summon our Blair, set the health of this to five, and then have it destroyed by the building at the end of the turn. We're going to hold off on our summon until there's more units to be destroyed on the field. Okay, uh, let's see. So, uh... Mm, yeah, this is fine. We'll summon our Grace of Rock Fleet now. Give them a reason to silence our units. Okay, we're getting some attack boost because of the kill over here. Okay, 
try to anticipate what the next unit could come out. So it's either Shaolin or perhaps another one of these buildings. All right, cool. Uh, that being the case, sir, we'll do our summon. We're just going to do this in order to get a blocker out here, and then we're also going to summon our Shaolin now. Give this immunity from silence. Oh, and as you can see, it already has metal shield as well because of the blare that we summoned on the previous turn. Uh, so next turn, if this is well, this is going to be destroyed by combat anyways, yes, and they're not going to do silence. We're going to do our destruction, get rid of the Madam Lotrix here, which is summoning those puppets that are blocking us. Okay, uh, yeah. So we'll summon, we'll do our destruction, and then we'll summon our over here to silence the mail units so no more of that reflect damage no more of the negative effects and we'll just get rid of this unit here with the invulnerability that it had and the bleeding that it also had all right so they did their silence so that's good we don't mind we still have our building to deal damage we still have our shaolin to attack and have the death trigger and then we have our grace of rock fleet which at this point does have the seven extra attacks because of the puppets and the other range units that we've been destroying. All right, so they summon their stones as well. You're in pretty good shape against those. Oh, even better. All right, great. So let's see, one, two, three, four, five. We'll do our summons. And then we'll summon our Blair to set the health of this unit to five. We'll get our seven extra attacks coming from the Grace of Rock Fleet. Hopefully that'll be enough to destroy all these stones. All right, and there we go. <laughs> Didn't even need the summons, but you know, just just added add insurance in case I uh, did the math wrong. All right, got three more. Uh, marksman, no pet, so that's good. Okay, looks like they're starting first. Yep, same stuff with the silence the stones. Hmm, okay. Not exactly what I wanted to see. So they summon this tinker here, deals damage to nature units, heals, and then summons this mini Tesla X that deals damage whenever a unit is destroyed, and then also plus attack to them at the beginning. We'll summon our Justia behind the building for a little bit of protection. Also gives miss to another unit that's already on the field. So in this case, as long as this isn't silenced or transformed, this won't be able to attack us for the turn. I think what we're going to do next turn, they're probably going to summon a ranged unit. So we'll counter with our summon and then our lair over here. So as mentioned, we'll do our summon, summon our lair. We'll summon it in the same row as the Justia so that we can get an attack boost. Got Pierce over here. Okay, and still, because of the Justia, we'll still be able to give miss. These units are now marked for damage. If we do have Shaolin next turn, we're just going to summon them, and then we'll probably summon Shaolin over here if we do get it. Otherwise, we'll probably summon a building just to protect. Oof. And, oh, great. All right, so we do have Shaolin, so that's good. We're gonna do our destruction now because we can't take those units and we don't have any immediate removal against this. We're probably still gonna do our we'll summon our Shaolin here for some protection. It gets metal shield because of the Blair. And because of the mist that is still given by Justia, we can still stop this uh this Grace of Broccoli with the damage. Next turn, we'll either summon our Amaratsu to give these Metal Shield, or we'll summon our Frost to freeze potentially this unit or the other unit that comes up. Okay, we got some damage over there, damage over there. Okay, we have this unit that freezes their units, or freezes one of our units whenever we're attacked. Seeing if there makes more sense. Yeah, we'll summon our Yoster over here, silence this unit, get it out of the way. And we'll, oh yeah, I forgot about the attack boost still going. Hmm. Why didn't they still get an attack boost if this unit was frozen? That was so weird. Oh, there was attack boost from the Shaolin, that's why. Alright. Guess I didn't have to worry about that. Alright, claim some wind chest. Got two more. 
Okay, they still before they should have around like eleven hundred. Yep. All right. Uh. Hmm. All right. Well, some of them are frost behind the building first. I was thinking about some of the actual the the totem over here, but we are going first, and we do want to put a little bit of board pressure on them early. If we're going second, then we would probably set up for more defense. Okay. Uh, because of our frost, we'll be able to do this, where we can summon our, we'll summon our Justy over here, just freeze this. We could do our summon to get rid of this as well, but it's a little early. We can actually wait another turn or so. We can summon a Blair next turn and then get rid of a range unit with the summon, or we can summon our Yoster and deal some damage. All right, this is fine. We'll do our summon. Then we'll summon our Blair over here. Set the health of these units to five. We'll get our damage in still. And then have these destroyed. Pretty go good board for them to silence us at this point. They do have a Gleedy Pet here as well. So if they do a melee kill, we'll give some health back. Nice. All right, great. So we do have our Shaolin, so that's going to be good. We'll summon it over here, give this player some protection. Okay, we still need to destroy this Justia because it is giving mist to our units. We are threatening lethal on two of these lines over here. And actually, potentially third, uh, third line here as well, uh, if they don't summon something to block. All right, so they went like that. All right, so I have combat over there, combat over there, there, there. Okay, we'll summon our Grace of Rock Fleet. We'll have combat to destroy that. We'll have our damage over here. Okay, this is miss. That is fine. And now at this point, if they go silent, it'll only be for the Grace of Rock Fleet over here. We have Lethal Threatened in two lanes. And so should be all set. Okay, they did their stones. Just a little bit of a little bit of a delay here. They do have extra attack wounds over here, given by the charm. So they could potentially destroy this line over here. Hmm, okay. That is not what I wanted to see. That is fine. We'll summon our Yoster over here to silence the Strix, so no more extra damage, no more attack boost. And we're pretty defended right now for the board wipe. We still have our Justia with uh, immunity from silence. We have our Shaolin with the metal shield over here. Okay, combat, combat. Okay, mark for destruction. We'll do our summons. Then we'll do our Shaolins over here. There's some attack boosts. And should be good in here for lethal. Nice. All right, cool. Okay. Got one more. I see that the timer on that chest is going to be gone soon, but we're going to just skip that because uh, we want to get to Dark Tower as soon as we can. All right, so same thing. Got a little bit more health off of their heals. Uh, some health off of the melee kills. Okay, we are going to summon our Frost here. The uh, reason why we're only summoning the Frost and not doing our summon as well is because there is a chance, there's a greater chance that it will actually land up here, and then it will actually ruin the, uh, the timing of these skills. So we're just going to summon our frost to guarantee for sure that this will be set to one and then after we can opt to destroy it for next turn okay we'll do our summon as mentioned we'll summon our yoster over here on the health boost um silence this unit here so no more bleeding when it attacks no more health boost as well Next turn, we can summon our Shaolin uh, after a board wipe, give these immunity from silence, and then also we'll be able to preserve our setup. Oof. All 
All right, so they have this unit that whenever it attacks, it gives another copy of itself and then also deals splash damage. Has flight too, but again, not too concerned about that. We did our summon. We're going to now summon our... We're going to summon our Shaolin over here. Our uh, reason why is because we're going to set up with our Amaterasu over here and get, potentially give all of these units in this area mental shield. As you can see, we do have our board wipe set up, so that was good. Okay, they summon Dead Lord here, gives uh, transforms a melee unit, and when it attacks into a zombie, we'll summon our damage over there, damage over there. Hmm. Yeah, this is fine. We'll give uh, we'll give the metal shield as mentioned before. Right, so we have combat, combat. End up freezing one of these, uh, the Dead Lord. So that's pretty good. Okay, did their silence, so that's fine. We did give the Oster Mental Shield, so it's going to help us continue to deal damage over turns and some health boosts as well. <laughs> Until that happens. Uh, so extra damage when he came into play, reborn and the attack boost. Not a problem. Combat over there, just seeing what else we can do. Uh, I guess we'll summon our building now to block for some damage. The unit still has bleeding over here, seeing how much it is. 68, so we'll die in two turns. That, that's fine. All right, so there's stones. It's going to give this a little bit of protection. Our best play is to summon our, our Yoster if we can survive, so that we can actually get rid of the Reborn, and then also the attack boost. Hmm. Okay, got damage over there. All right, so that's good. We did get our Yoster, so that's good. Just trying to do some math here. So we got 95. What is it? So even if we silence it, it's still going to be 213 damage. So that's actually not good for us. So we have, we're going to summon this over here. So that way we can actually do our freeze this time. If we summoned it below, it would have actually frozen, um, not frozen, but rather it would have been frozen and then uh, not silenced. Or, sorry. Silence and then not frozen. All right, so I've got extra attack over here. That's fine. We'll do our summons. And then we'll combo it with our Blair to set the health to five. And then also each one of these units that attack will get pierced. So we'll, we'll be able to destroy these behind the stones here. All right. Large health boost because these are all female. And then the Yoster comboing here for every female. Okay, let's see. So we have combat over there, combat over there. We're going to summon our Grace of Rockfleet, deal some damage. Also, we need to lower the amount of damage that we're going to take from taking, uh, attacking this totem that has reflect damage to our Warlord, as you saw right there. Next turn, we'll summon our Justia to give these an attack boost and also give some mist to their units if they do come into play. Otherwise, we'll summon our Shaolin to give an attack boost and then also give them immunity from silence as well. Put that over there. Yeah, we'll, we'll just summon our uh, Justia over here. We still have our Grace of Rockfleet that is dealing damage on the attacks, so you'll see there. Get some attack boost. See how many kills we have? Probably like three. It doesn't. It's unfortunate they don't tell you how many how many deaths there are for this. I uh, guess we should just keep track of ourselves. But this is fine. We still have our Justia that is giving mist to this unit whenever they summon, and we are threatening lethal right now. Until this happens, that's fine. We have combat, combat. Let's see. So combat, uh, combat. So they'll still be alive. But let's see here. We have that over there. Summon another Blair over here just to get the combat to destroy this. Okay, uh, since this unit will get miss next turn, what will happen is they'll get miss and be able to summon their copies. And so they'll be able to block uh, this entire row over here. So it's kind of annoying, but I mean, we do have enough attackers, so we should be all set. 
We got combat over there. Oh, we have combat over here. We'll just skip the turn to avoid all that. All right, so that was Tanger over there. We're now done for the league. Uh, we'll open this up later. That's fine. All right, cool. So that was League. Now let's head over to the Dungeon of Trials for some Dark Tower. Uh, I just got to switch. The... Actually, no, we're not going to switch uh, Geisha. Uh, the reason why is because I remember last time when we did that, uh, we eventually have to... We will, we usually start with Pirate, and then we'd switch back to Geisha, but we might as well just start with it now. All right, so Dark Tower has now started. As you see, it will reset in about six days. I wish raids would come back. <laughs> never, it's never coming back. All right, so we got three wins. Uh, well, we got three attempts over here. We got 16 wins to get each uh, star here. We have eight stars, and each half star is a win. So, yeah, let's get right into it. Okay, they got a Jimmy here with the block runes. They have the rocker boys here with the splash, which are range units, and then also setting the health of our units, takes up melees to one. We started with this unit here. Whoops, wrong, wrong one over here. Okay, so deals damage to units in our line. Also, uh, deals extra damage whenever attacked. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, over there, coming over there. You want to keep this um, some of our range units alive. See what makes the most sense. We don't have a unit over there with splash. We have those over there. Hmm. We'll summon our. Oh, it's it's a tough debate because there's extra damage coming over here, and then they have this. Uh, we'll summon our. We'll summon our Apollo. Actually, the reason why we're summoning this Apollo is because it gives evasion to one of our units, except flying heroes. Also gives metal shield whenever one of their units comes into play. Does this have evasion? No, it does not. All right. So I guess it only gives evasion to units that can attack, as opposed to these buildings. That is okay. Our goal right now is to draw out the Rocker Boys first and then do our destruction skill. Okay, 3.30 in the line. Just thinking about this. Uh, this is fine. We'll summon our building over here to block. We're not too concerned about this unit, even though it does have block. Okay, so we are taking some extra damage over here. This is okay. We do have our building that is dealing damage at the end of the turn. Uh, we're going to do our summon, and then we'll do our destruction. reason why we're doing that is because we have these extra summons over here. Uh, we could potentially destroy this. We, I want to give our Apollo some protection, so we're going to summon this unit over here. When it comes into play, it summons these crystals. Those crystals will give metal shield to this flame heli. And then we're going to use our building and then our summon as well to deal damage to their units. Still need to be concerned about the rocker boys that do have that splash, but as long as we do have some protection, we will be fine. So we'll have combat over here. Still has the block runes over here. Mm, that over there, that over there. This is fine. Uh, yeah, we'll summon our Kabas over here. This Kabos, whenever it is attacked, it will reflect damage back to them. Also gets block, and then also gives block to our Warlord. And then because of that Apollo, as mentioned before, we will get Metal Shield to at least one of these units. Okay, so that's good. Seeing if I need to deal combat to this. No, we're just going to hold off on destroying this building. Okay, so we have that ranging allies. Well, it's allies over here. Now this is fine. We're just summoning our range unit over here for some extra damage. Okay, we are getting some evasion still at the end. So it's really good right now that we are uh, we have this Apollo as opposed to the other units. Was thinking about dealing combat damage to this building, but this building is effectively blocking this particular lane because they can't summon something in this uh, area. There, then over there. Summon our Titania. Yeah, it already has evasion, also gives plus health to our units, our melee units, and then also attack boost to our females, which in this case we don't have a single. We only have uh, this flame heli here, which is a female over here.
Okay, so they summon their Rocker Boys with some Splash. Uh, at this point, I think all of our units should have Evasion, so that could actually get around the whole range stuff. So that has Evasion, Evasion, this one has Evasion too. Alright, this is fine. Uh, You know, we'll just do our summons. We should we should actually have enough for lethal. So combat, 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 and there you go. All right, so that was the Jimmy. Not sure why it's freezing right now. That's fine. Okay, and since we're also in the world event, the chest will count in the Dark Tower, so we'll get a little bit of sparks, so that's cool. All right, got some more rewards, and yeah, let's go. Facing Mango. <laughs> All right, so let's take a look at their skills. So they got these sounds, got the, the stones here with the heal, and then also the heal. Our goal is to draw out the stones and the silence before we go for some damage. Some storm range behind here will deal damage to units in the line. I'm gonna avoid this particular lane just because we don't want to destroy the building and then allow this to attack. So in the meantime, we do want to pick off some of their other units. We're gonna set up for some protection. Do that, that, that. Hmm. We're gonna summon our Guardius over here. It has a Hellgate when it comes into play. Also silences units whenever it attacks. Um, you have 200k of rare Yoster. How much legendary souls is that? Um, so without any evolved bonuses, the ratio is 50 to 5 for epics and then 14 to 1 for uh, legendaries. So was that like roughly 140? So just do the math there, 140. I think it's for like a thousand or ten thousand. No, I can't be right. I'm, I got I it's two zeros, seventy two, so maybe like a thousand or two thousand. I, I I'm probably missing the numbers, but that's fine. All right, so they got this number here, or sorry, this uh, shroomkin over here. Nothing too concerned. We're gonna summon our building to block for some damage. We'll summon it on the health rune over here. And again, we want to avoid placing units in this line because of the uh, storm range. But then we destroy it with our building. Uh, also, another bonus to summoning this building is it gets around the silence because it says here, everything except buildings. So that's cool. All right, so we'll combat over here and destroy that. Uh, let's take a look here. Enemy attacks. Okay. Uh, either one is fine. I think we're just going to summon this unit over here. It has slightly lower health, but it has these extra summons that we can use to block for some damage. All right, still some combat over here. This is fine. Mm, next turn, we can either summon the Santa Claus to remove a unit. We can also summon this unit over here to gain some health back. Oof, okay. So they went that route. Combat over here. This unit is getting the attack boost. Might be a little early to actually get rid of this, but... Hmm. You know, this is fine. We'll do our summon. And uh, we'll... Oh, even better. We do have our combat <clears throat> to destroy this. So we'll summon our ranged unit over here. Okay, transform that, and then the building will destroy that. If that didn't occur where the uh, summon was destroying the melee unit, we would just do our destruction and then use our range unit to destroy that. All right, so here, nothing too crazy. I'm going to summon this unit with the high health. We're also going to summon it on the attack rune, or the, the damage rune caused by this unit here. All right, so we have combat, combat, and the building destroy that. And we're in pretty good shape right now. We still need to avoid the silence happening for the Warlord. Okay, we have that over there. Okay, we do need to get rid of this unit because it has counterattack. Also, free, uh, what do you call it? Gets a health boost. So let's see. We need to deal around 130 in this turn, even with the counterattack. Got that over there. Got that over there. Oh, this is fine. We'll summon our Vixen. So when our Vixen uh, is in play, whenever we attack their Warlord, it will actually freeze one of their units. Okay, and this is okay if our board gets silenced now. 
<clears throat> we still have our <clears throat> we still have our building that is dealing damage. So next turn, we'll wait for the building to deal damage. We'll do our destruction. We still have our range units over here. Okay. Oh, even better. Just a building that uh, gives attack boost to their units. All right. We will summon our range units over. That makes more sense. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, we'll summon our range unit over here on the attack rune. Whenever a unit dies, we'll get an attack boost. So that's cool. We might not have to use our destruction skill just because we have our building that can still destroy these. And then we also have a strict over here that can deal extra damage based upon number of units we have in play. We have combat over here. This unit here gets spikes whenever one of our units attacks. So let's see, combat destroy that. It does have a skill that whenever one of our units dies, uh, they will get a health boost over here. That's fine. We have that over there, that over there. Mm, this is fine. We're going to change this around. We're going to summon actually our Alexandria. The reason why is because she removes negative effects at the end of the turn. So we did get a little bit of an attack steal coming from here. At the end of the turn, it removes all of that. So now they're back to their normal stats. Okay, this is fine. We're going to summon our shark over here. It has some protection because it sets the attack of units in the same line for one turn, or to one, and then it has counterattack as well. Uh, next turn, if their board is relatively empty, uh, we'll trigger the destruction to get rid of the Shaolin. So we'll do that. Okay, got lost our Alexandria. That's fine. We'll do our summons, get these out of the way. Get rid of the uh, the damage runes over here. We have combat over here, 200, 300. A little short. We'll summon over here to balance out for damage. I guess we could have waited another turn, but this is fine. We're, we're threatening lethal in at least three lanes over here. So unless they do some kind of weird, crazy move where they wipe out our board or gain a thousand health, which is very unlikely. So yeah, there you go. That was Mango. All right, so I've got some more sparks. That's good. Got some more rare Diplius. Okay, got some rare balls. So that's good too. All right, some more chest. And yeah, let's go. So we're facing Zill right now. Face them in league before. Uh, they got their pet over here, so we have to be concerned that they gain some health. Oof. And they started with uh, Copper over here. So it gives negative attack to all order units for a turn whenever they attack. And then also if they're attacked, we'll deal damage and then also heal as well. So it sets up a little bit differently. Gonna have to find a way to stop this now. Let's see, you got that over there, there, there. We'll start with our Vlad, and the reason why is because it deals damage at the beginning of the turn to units, so we're going to set up for an early board wipe uh, in order to get rid of this uh, Kavas over here. All right, so you can see some combat over there. We'll summon our priestess over here. It gives mist to the units in line for a turn, so we can stop these from attacking. Next turn, if this Vlad is still alive, we'll do our board wipe, and then we'll go from there. It might be a little early because we haven't drawn out the stones and we haven't drawn out the silence, but I'd rather get rid of these units now than uh, have to deal with them for later. All right, so we'll do our summons. Uh, all these are marked for destruction, so we'll do that. And then... Because they still have their silence skill uh, available, we want to summon units that have decent health. In this case, we'll summon this over. Yeah, this one's fine, yeah. Okay, so a little bit of a disadvantage because we don't have our destruction skill anymore. We'll have to focus more on stats rather than skills. 
All right, so say for example like this, we can't destroy this unit because it has invulnerability. So we'll now need to find a skill that can destroy this. So in this case, Mm, yeah, this is fine. We'll summon our flight unit over here. So when whenever another unit comes into play, we'll actually give bleeding to that unit and then units around. If they do do silence at this point, we don't mind because then we can get rid of the silence. Otherwise, we did our summon so that we can avoid the damage coming from this unit. All right, so combat over there, combat over there. Still need to find a unit that can deal damage to this over here. So we have that. Let's take a look at this unit here. Okay, we're gonna give this an attack boost so we can actually destroy this unit over here. Don't want any lagging units on the board. So we'll summon, got some combat over there. Okay, as you can see, the attack steal that is occurring whenever the bleeding does occur, or the attack, yeah, already there. All right, next turn, we're going to summon our Yoster to silence this male unit. Okay, we got that over there. Put that over there. Could potentially wipe out both of these units. Let me see. Okay. No, we'll, do, we'll play the safer route because they still have their ghost over here that can deal damage to our units whenever we attack. So we still have that over there. Uh, just doing some math. So 97, 103, uh, 113. Can we give another attack boost? 113. Oh, that's actually enough here. So we'll do our attack boost with the dust over here. We'll do our summon here to silence this melee unit. So no more attack steals. And then we can just do combat to destroy the ghost over here. Okay, next turn we'll probably, yeah, we'll summon this uh, miss unit over here. So we have that over there. Yeah, we're going to summon our miss unit over here. So we're summoning this unit here. Destroy this. Get some health back off our melee kill. At the end of the turn, it gives miss to one of the units. So in this case, it's this one here because it's the only one. Still waiting to draw their silence <laughs> and the stones as well. Oof. Okay, so they summon their blair here. Set the health of this unit to five. Destroy that. Put that over there. Summon our melee unit over here. Get some health back off the melee kill. And then once again, this unit should get this, as you see there. All right, so they did their silence, finally. Seeing if they're going to do their stones. If they do do their stones, which they did not do, we're actually going to summon our, um, we're going to summon our Tinker instead. So you got that over there, that over there, and that over there. Yeah, this is fine. All right, so we'll summon our Tinker. Has the extra building that deals damage whenever one of our, whenever any unit is destroyed, also gives an attack boost. Key thing for us is that it deals extra damage to nature units. So in this case, it's actually these healing stones over here. It's good we save our summon so that we can actually deal some extra combat damage. This over here freezes two. Okay, deals extra damage. All right, cool. So we'll do our summons. Okay, we'll have enough combat to destroy this. That over there. Lights over there. Let's see if we can actually deal some extra stuff. So we have that, 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 that combat over there, and over there. Mm, best we can do is summon our melee unit over here. We're going to give him some health back to their warlord. That's that's fine. Just want to deal as much damage as we can to these stones and then also have to get behind uh get uh, behind to these uh range units over here. Okay, so we'll have combat over here. Got that over there. It's over there. Okay, we're summoning this uh, unit with the flight to block against this melee unit. 
Have I given this a boost? I was thinking of giving this a potential boost to deal the extra nature damage over here. Because it's it's very important now that we don't leave uh, straggling units on the on the field. So spikes over here. Just seeing what other stats are available. So we have combat, combat, combat. All right. So the extra damage should destroy that over here. Restore over here. Okay, this uh, Cenotaph or the Charn is going to be giving us a problem because they still have the extra attack runes over here. Summon this unit here with the. Summon this unit over here. Gives spikes or gives deals, deals damage whenever one of their units attacks. So maybe we'll be able to get rid of some stuff. You can see the metal shield given over here. It's unfortunate. So combat will destroy this here. They could summon something to get rid of this building and also deal extra damage. Could summon something over here to get rid of this. Okay, got a melee kill, so that's cool. Okay, we'll still have, let's see, we'll have our nature damage over there. Unit has double attack. Summon our, hmm. We need a flight unit to have combat over here. Yeah, we'll summon our flight unit just to block this unit here. Okay, so combat will destroy that. Combat over here, combat over here. Yeah, we're, we're still going to be in trouble anyways because oh, they also have sudden deaths as well. So, unfortunate. We used our destruction early in order to get rid of those units on turn three. But again, it was, uh, yeah, we, we probably should have held off until later. So... That's fine. Does happen. Okay. So first one gone. Still got two more. Let's keep going. <clears throat> Excuse me. All right. So looks like they got uh, ogre here. They got uh, attack boost coming from their pets. You can see there. Okay, start with the Shaolin. I think what makes the most sense. We have to come after there. there. Okay, <clears throat> we'll start with our uh, uh, Yono over here. It has flight, so we'll be able to block for some damage. Also has that extra damage around here, so we'll be able to destroy these buildings. Mm -hmm. Okay, still got Metal Shield coming from our buildings over here. Combat destroy that. Hi, Joni. How are you today? I got this unit here that freezes units in the line. We'll summon this unit here with the high health. Okay, the uh, Shaolin had the death trigger deal damage over here on the Metal Shield, but because the Metal Shield was there, didn't it deal any damage to destroy the unit? Okay, got that over there. Got this unit that freezes one of our units at the end of the turn. Uh, we're summoning this unit here with the high stats. We'll offer some damage. Okay, <clears throat> so they did do their silence. So because of that, now our units don't have their skills anymore, but they still have their decent stats over here. So our next goal is to draw out the stones. Got that over there. Combat over here. Okay, we're going to summon our send circuit. The send circuit, whenever it deals damage to the warlord, it will deal damage to one of their units. We're trying to hopefully deal damage to this unit because it will get a large attack boost. Uh, but this is fine. We have combat over there, combat over there. Nice. All right, cool. We can actually just summon something to destroy this here. So we'll summon our range unit. When it comes into play, it deals damage to all units except chaos. And then we'll be able to destroy that over here. We still have our building that is giving us metal shield as well. And then we have decent health stats over here. So pretty good, pretty good spot. 
Okay, uh, next turn we'll summon either our Grace of Rock Fleet to deal some damage to their units, or we'll summon the Neelin to get some extra damage. Combat over there, combat over there. Yeah, we will summon actually our Grace of Rock Fleet. Let's just gonna do our summon first. We're gonna summon our Grace of Rock Fleet behind the unit with the Mental Shield. And we're setting up for the board wipe next turn. This unit will deal damage to all of their units. We were originally going to summon the Spore Loath, but because this unit here deals extra damage to nature, there is a chance that it would be destroyed and that we wouldn't be able to set up for our board wipe. Uh, so this is good. We have one, two, three, four, five. Kill two more units. This unit, uh, this Grace will get seven more attacks, and then that should help us for lethal. All right, so we'll do our destruction. Okay, we'll take a little bit of damage because of the Tesla X here. See, enemy attacks, spikes to random ally. That's fine. We'll do our summons. Just want to get rid of the building if we can. And we'll also summon our melee unit over here to block with some damage. All right, combat destroys that. All right. Oh, we did get our seven attack, uh, seven kills. As you saw, the uh, little sword that, that happened over here. So one, two, and there we go. Nice. <laughs> cool. So that was Smyrtle over there. Collected 400 copper coins from our quest. So that's good. Okay, some Grace of Rock Fleet, Mother Owl, Lotrix. Okay, still on rares. Uh, yeah, let's keep going. Okay, looks like they have a little more health than us, so probably going to be losing this one, but we'll do what we can. Lovely. <laughs> Okay, so they have this flight unit here that also gives an extra summon whenever they destroy a non, whenever a non chaos unit that is not a building is destroyed on our side. Uh, let's see, so we have that over there, that there. We're gonna start with our, get that, do that over there, there, there. We're gonna summon our Freddy over here. We're summoning this Freddy because when it dies, it gives one of their units a skill that will end up summoning this unit over again. And uh, also, it's also a decent target for silence. So either way, it's uh, it's good to to put in play. All right, so they did do their summon. That's fine. We actually now won't don't want to destroy this because we want the Freddy to come back after the silence occurs. So for the time being, we're just trying to deal as much combat damage as we can. Uh, we'll summon our unit over here. Freezes the unit uh, that is uh, in line. We also want to summon as many uh, chaos units as we can so that we don't actually trigger off their, their skill. All right, so we have that over there. Well, as mentioned, we will summon a chaos unit. Summon this unit over, combat over there, combat over there. Yeah, this is fine. We'll summon this over here. All right, so they did their silence, so that's good. Uh, next turn, we'll probably do our summon to wipe out their stuff early. Uh, we can also just wait until they have their stones, so that way we will have an extra attacker. So combat over there. As you can see, when our unit died, it did do this extra summon over here. Over there, over there. Hmm, just thinking about it right here. Combat, combat. Uh, you know, we will do our, we'll do our destruction skill now. So we'll do our summon, we do our destruction, and then our Freddy does come back, as you saw there. It also deals some damage to other units and then gave us some health back. We'll continue and let's see, we'll summon the Frost over here behind the Freddy, trying to deal as much combat damage as we can to these units. I forgot about our uh, Arch Vampire here that deals damage at the end. We could have actually summoned it over here, so that way we could have guaranteed that we would destroy a unit. Hope that doesn't come and bite us. Alright, so in this case, we'll summon our order unit over here. Raising a unit. Of combat, destroy that. Okay, our goal now is to actually summon something to defend this Frost. I really should have summoned this over here, so that way we could have gotten some removal. Uh, but that's fine. They did do their stones. 
Uh, no order units, so we're not able to combo for this turn. Uh, we do have a Bastet over here that deals damage to all units, so we'll actually be able to destroy these. Okay, we have our Freddy coming back. Uh, we're going to... We need to silence this unit because it deals damage at the beginning of the turn. So it's just a matter of which one we're going to end up summoning. Uh, probably, let's see, come over there, come over there. Let's see what has more stats. Uh, this is fine. We'll summon our range unit. It's slightly better. So we'll have some protection over with the Hellgate summon in front of it. We silence this unit, so no more extra damage. Uh, next turn, we can summon an order unit to freeze one of the units because of the frost. Let's see how many times the Freddy can come back. He comes back one more time. Okay. Uh, we're going to do our summon now to actually get rid of some stuff. Let's see. Combat, combat. Yeah, combat, combat. So it should be enough to destroy those over here. Oh boy, I messed this up. <laughs> uh, I messed this up because whenever one, uh, whenever this unit is here, freezes our chaos units. So that was unfortunate. Summon this unit over here. Deal some extra damage. Oh boy, this unit is is so good in uh, in Dark Tower. All right, so that's fine. We blew our summons. <laughs> Uh, but I guess it didn't punish us as much as I thought it would. Uh, they got this here, this Talhorn that kill, uh, deals bleeding damage, and then also if a bleeding unit dies, it will, uh, give it an attack boost. So we have damage over there, damage over there. Uh, that's over there, that's over there. Yeah, I really need to get rid of this. Um, let's see, how about over there? One, two, three, four, five, six. Just doing some math over here. 2, 3, 16, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So not quite enough actually to destroy this. But we'll do this instead. We'll do our range summons over here. This range summon, this uh, Mirden over here, it summons a rabbit. And whenever that rabbit is destroyed, while this is still active, it will silence the unit that attacked it or destroyed the, the rabbit. So we'll be able to potentially stop the bleeding skill over here okay so we did stop the bleeding skill lost our silence unit over there Let's see what else we can do we have damage 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 all right we will summon our We'll summon our Super Mary. Super Mary here has Mental Shield and then also gets an attack boost. Whenever it's attacked, it will get Mental Shield back. So as long as they don't have another skill to get rid of the Mental Shield, we should be all set to get rid of their stuff. And then also, yeah, it does combo with the the, the Frost over here. So you can see the damage. Oh, take some damage over there. Our Freddy won't come back anymore, so that's unfortunate. Still need to get rid of these units here. Okay, no range units this time, so that's unfortunate. We'll summon our unit here. When it dies, it gives evasion to one of our units. Oh, and we don't even have our extra summon over here, so that's unfortunate, yeah, so. Oh boy, all right. That was my fault. I did misplay a couple times. One was the extra summons that were frozen. I should have checked out that unit before. And then also the frost location. So we got one more. Let's see if we can do a little better this time. Okay, so we are going first, so that's good. We'll start with our yeah, we'll start with our coppice down here. Get rid of this building so that we, we don't have to worry about units being guarded. Has decent health stats, and as you can see, it also has this fan prism damage. So that'll be good for us in case they do try to attack. Lovely. All right. So we have our building that will deal damage to their units at the end of the turn. We have to get rid of this Tengu that also sets our attack to one. Uh, because they still have their silence, we're going to have to hold off on doing some other uh, damage. So let's see here. Anything here? Well, this is fine. We can do this. We'll summon this melee unit over here to block for some damage. 
When it dies, it gives toxin to one of their units, which means that they'll get negative attack for uh, every attack they attack. <laughs> so we have damage. Toxin happened over here. So you can see their attack was reduced by 50%. That over there. We'll summon our melee unit over here. It, at the end of the turn, it steals attack from their units. And then also, this is a decent uh, target for them to silence. We do want to draw out their silence as early as possible so that we can do our own setups. All right, so this is good. Damage over there. Let's see, combat, combat. Hey, we can summon another Kabos. Great. See how much it deals 130. So that won't be enough to destroy these, but off combat over there, combat over there. Seeing if it makes more sense for us to destroy stuff now. Yeah, we will. All right, so we'll do our summons. We'll do our destruction. And then we will follow up with our APEP over here. It gives reborn to one of our units whenever we attack. And all the units we actually don't mind giving reborn to. And next turn, we'll have to summon a range unit to try and get rid of this unit here. Of course. Of course, they're both nature. Yeah. So we can't even summon a range unit because it won't do anything for this particular turn. So let's see. We'll have combat over there, combat over there. We'll summon our building to block for some damage. Okay, uh, this unit here had invulnerability for a turn, so that's why we couldn't attack it. Also steals attack. Also has these death runes that come out whenever we destroy. That's fine. Nature over here. Okay, this time for sure we can do our... Oh, we have to wait one more turn for these summons. So let's see. You have combat over there, combat over there. Uh, we'll summon this melee unit over here. Reason why is because it has reborn whenever it dies. Well, let's turn to another unit, and then we could potentially give reborn to this unit here, which we did. So great. So we'll have another copy potentially coming out. All right, so we still have that attack steal that is occurring, which is unfortunate. Okay, damage over there, damage over there. Okay, we still want to be able to give reborn. Uh, so combat, combat, combat. Summon our... Okay, give toxin to two random enemies. All right, so we do need to get rid of this if we can. We'll summon our, let's see, combat over there. We'll just do our range summons. Okay, so we can see if we can pile through there. We'll also summon this range unit over here to deal some damage. Whenever one of our units dies, it will give mental shield to one of our units. So we'll get some extra protection. Just want to get through these stones if we can. Okay, this unit doesn't have reborn, which is unfortunate. But we do also need to get rid of this unit because of the toxin, also the regen. So as you see, each one of these units are dying at the beginning of the turn. So those are now gone. Let's see here. I'm going to have combat over there. We'll summon our... Yeah, we'll summon our... It's Ali over here. Gives mist to two of their units whenever it attacks. Slow down their units over here. Still need to find a way to get rid of either this unit over here or this unit over here. We have this unit here that heals their units at the end of the turn. Summon our range unit probably over here to deal combat or deal combat over here. Let's see. Oh boy. All right. This is not what I wanted to see. All right. So we have that over there, that over there, combat over here. All right. So they got this uh, dark over here that gives plus health to their units whenever we attack. Need to have enough to actually destroy this. So just doing some math. So 121. Uh, plus 48 times 3, so about 150, about 270. So we don't have actually enough to destroy that, so that's unfortunate. Uh, we'll summon our... 
Mm, we'll still have some damage over here. Let's do that. Yeah, we'll summon this unit over here. As you see that plus health going on over here. We do want to keep this ghost alive. We're dealing some damage to their warlord whenever we attack. So as long as we do have still attackers, we'll still be able to deal damage to their warlord. And then we still have our unit here with the flight and the block. So we're kind of at a big stalemate right now. Oh, okay. Next turn we can summon uh we can summon this unit here with the puppet to remove our negative attacks. Also get rid of the toxin as well. So we will summon our range unit over here. We still need a blocker on this lane. That's why. So the combat over there. As you can see, the large attack steal and the, and the toxins. We still have our puppets, so this can remove all the negative attacks. All right, so combat. Combat. Oh, oh, the mist is still happening. All right. Uh, let's see. We'll summon our. Yeah, we'll summon our ranger in here. Just want to get some extra attackers over here. We can get rid of this uh, death rune if we chose to. Probably should have done that just because we do want to keep our melee spots open. And actually, that would have helped out a lot now because we can could have just summoned our uh, our Madame Lotrix. So. Ugh, those gotta think ahead at this point. Really should have gotten rid of this first. All right, so we'll have combat over here. Uh, combat will destroy this. Okay, got the reborn. Okay, got that over here. Um, yeah, this is fine. We'll end up summoning our Tinker instead to get rid of the Death Rune. Hmm, all that glorious nature damage. <laughs> Alright, so pretty much it's just a matter of time at this point. We do have a lot of Reborn happening on our units. We have the damage happening from the Ghosta over here. And so we also have this protection over here because, whoops, whenever the Tinker is attacked, it will give us health. Where is it? Where, okay, it's this one here. No, not, it's this. I'm trying to get, trying to click to the uh, Tinker over here. Tinker, whenever it's attacked, as you see here, it will be the plus health. All right, so we did get rid of the rune. Summon this over here, get some attack boosts. Ah, you know what? The uh, the Kaboss with the Vampirism is going to give attack boosts to our units, including themselves. So that's why we're still able to attack over here. And so as you can see, their units are getting a lot of health. But we do have pretty much the ultimate defense in terms of the vampirism over here that will give an attack boost back to our units. We have our ghost that's going to deal damage to their warlord. And then also if one of our units dies, they'll get metal shield, as you can see all over the place here. All right, uh, some health back off of the melee kill. Okay, we'll summon another Apep to guarantee that we'll get some more reborn. And after all that, there you go. <laughs> so that's why it's very important to have things that can actually deal damage whenever uh, you don't have your destruction skill. All right, so we got some Tony the Tiger. That's good. Some Prince Nod. All right. <laughs> some Vixen. So that's good. And some more Vixen. Great. And it looks like we switched our rewards now. So just Epic Chest. Still get some more rewards. And yeah, let's go.
Great. Okay, so they are starting first. I already see a good unit that we can summon, our Shamuna over here. Okay. Okay, our Shamuna is now useless because of the board setup that we have. Uh, so this Frost Rune that comes out whenever this Water Elemental comes into play from this unit here actually prevents us from doing our setup because we can't do shards anymore, so that's unfortunate. Uh, let's see. There, coming up there. Seeing what makes the most amount of sense. We're going to summon our unit with the uh, high health. Probably going to be summoning it over here. Just to get some extra combat damage over here. Okay, whenever one of their units dies, we'll give evasion to our units. That's not going to matter too much because in two turns they're going to go silence anyways. So we need to find a way to destroy this unit if we can't. We also need to avoid these frost runes because it will stop an attack for a turn. Yeah, of course. Probably going to have to use our destruction skill early because we can't allow these units to stay alive. So we'll do our summon. Just mark those for damage. We'll continue on and summon range units if we can. Combat over there, combat over there. Yeah, we'll summon our range. Actually, oh no, we can't even summon this unit. If we summon this unit, it will actually destroy this building, which is an order. And we're going to be taking a lot more damage. So we're going to summon our range unit over here. Uh, Oxy, uh, play Oxy, it freezes them. So it actually does not. The reason why is because these units are nature and Oxy only freezes units that are not nature. So we would have, uh, we would have been very disappointed at that point. All right. So we have combat over there. Let's see, well, we said we we're going to use our destruction skill. So we might as well do that. Got evasion over here. Got this unit that has vampirism. Don't have anything to actually destroy this. It freezes to range. You sure? Hmm. I thought it said except nature. But yeah, I guess I can. Well, combat over there. Yeah, I still want to go for some damage if I can. Uh, here, here, vampirism. Seeing if there's anything else we could do. Poison enemies around the attack one for seven. So yeah, sure. Why not? Okay, so it actually is actually around, not the uh, the unit itself. So I've never used used this unit before, so that's why I was uh, seeing if that could work. Okay, so they did their silence. We need to get rid of this unit now. We're also low on health, so we need to find a way to get some health back with the melee kill. All right, and they are threatening lethal right now. Let's see, combat over there. We'll summon our old god on the frost rune so that we can actually still attack it has immunity uh this unit will potentially freeze the range unit so they combat here but nope they have the melee unit over here so we took uh damage early because they had their unit with the uh the freeze uh, runes and then we weren't able to summon our shimuna which ended up uh, messing up our board so that's fine we started a little early uh early progress we got six days to get some more wins we got four out of the 16 so yeah and we have some more attempts that are coming in about 12 hours so we'll have some more for later cool all right so cool all right so let's just do a quick recap of today we got the league got some done over here got some other chests that are looking to be open so we'll open those for later we also started on the Dark Tower, which we got a couple of wins. We're a quarter of the way there, and we have six more days. So yeah, that's uh, pretty much that. Uh, for tomorrow's stream, we should have some more League. We'll have some more Dark Tower. Divine Arena as well should also refresh, so we'll be able to cover that. Freezes into ranged uh, units that are not in nature. Oh, I will double check just to, to confirm that. I always get confused with the uh, the lake pixie or that rare. So let's see here. We have nature, the rare one, right? No, it says here. So this is the ox that you're talking about here. So it freezes two random enemies except nature, and both the um, what is it? Both the repressor and then the also the rare version of the lake pixie were also nature. So that's why we didn't end up summoning it over here. 
but it's always good to check. Always, always should always I, I should always check as a default. Uh, so yeah, so that was that. We'll have some more coverage for all that stuff uh, tomorrow. So yeah, thanks guys for tuning in. If you have any questions, comments, feedback, or concern, leave a message on Twitch, Discord, or YouTube. The content and streaming schedule is right up there, so check it out. Please like and follow on Twitch for the live stream, and like and subscribe on YouTube for more videos. Like I said, we're going to have some more Dark Tower coverage, Divine Arena. Um, on Saturday, I completed what level the first half of Chapter 3 for Journey. So if you're still on Journey, check that out. And uh, yeah, thanks guys for tuning in. I appreciate every one of you guys coming in and looking at the stream. So yeah, uh, this is Happy Splasher, signing off.